Hello friends. Welcome to Dr. Rajendran's Online Academy. Do you understand the concept of specific heat and latent heat? Yes, Professor Raj. But I would like to ask you a question. I am glad to answer you. Please go ahead. Could you please explain us the mechanical equivalent of heat? That's indeed a good question. Here we go. James Prescott Joule found that the mechanical work done on a system was equal to the heat produced. This means that the work W is proportional to heat Q, or W is equal to J multiplied by Q. Therefore, J is equal to W divided by Q. This relationship indicates that Joule's mechanical equivalent of heat is the amount of work that must be performed to produce a unit quantity of heat. Joule performed the experiments to find out the value of J. His experimental setup to determine the mechanical equivalent of heat is shown in the screen. The apparatus consisted of a cylindrical calorimeter made up of copper. A known mass of water M was taken in the calorimeter. The calorimeter was covered with a lid. To measure the change in temperature of water, a thermometer was used. The spindle, carrying a number of paddle, is inserted into the calorimeter. The spindle was attached to a drum and a handle. The string was wound around the drum. Two equal masses were attached on the ends of the string that passed over the pulleys. Two vertical scales were used to measure the heights through which the masses fell. Now, let's see the measurements. The masses were raised to the height H by rotating the handle. The masses were then allowed to fall down to the same height by rotating the handle in the reverse direction. The falling weight rotated the spindle and paddle assembly. As a result, the mechanical energy is converted into heat and the temperature of the water was increased. The process was repeated multiple times and Joule noted that the rise in temperature in each case. Joule found that when the falling weight lost approximately 4.15 kJ of mechanical energy, the temperature of 1 kg of water increased by 1 degree Celsius. Later, more precise measurements determined the amount of mechanical energy needed to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water from 14.5 degrees Celsius to 15.5 degrees Celsius is 4.186 kJ per kilocalorie. This is known as the mechanical equivalent of heat. A more proper name would be the equivalence between mechanical energy and internal energy. But, the historical name is well entrenched. Here is the calculation of the value of J. Let the mass of water be M. The water equivalent of the calorimeter is W. The increase in temperature of water is T2 minus T1. The height of the masses fall is H. The number of times the masses fall is N. From this, the work done by the masses in one fall can be calculated to be 2 mgh, where g is gravity. The total work done is 2 mgh multiplied by n. The amount of heat produced Q is equal to m plus w multiplied by T2 minus T1. Finally, Joule's mechanical equivalent of heat J is equal to W divided by Q which is equal to a constant. For more details on the specific heat and latent heat, I recommend you to watch my previous videos. The links are given in the description. Thank you and see you in the next class.